Hey everybody, it's Tracy, Uniquely Me. I'm going to show you 25 items I sold on eBay. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark and sometimes the local Facebook marketplace. So let's get into what I sold. 25 items. This is a vintage Dooney and Burke day planner or agenda. It has the all-weather leather, which is the pebbled green leather. I pretty much sell everything that has the pebbled um, all-weather leather in Dooney and Burke, so I usually pick it up if I can get it cheap enough. This is just a coffee mug from Barnes & Noble out of my own kitchen cabinet. It wasn't big enough for my coffee needs. I have heavy-duty coffee needs in my life, and this was too small. So I sold it, and I do that a lot. I'll just grab things out of my cabinet that I don't need or don't want or aren't servicing me correctly, and I will pop them on eBay for small profits. It's just what I do. You don't have to do that, but you can. This is a vintage Linux porcelain butterfly necklace. I buy jewelry bags and jewelry jars here and there, and you literally have to sell as much as you can for as much as you can get. So that's why I do sell jewelry for lower profits. I got $18.99 for this one plus shipping, and here is what the back looks like. It was very clearly stated Linux. And they do mostly dishes um, and kitchenware, so I was kind of shocked to see that they had jewelry. So now I know. <laughs> This is the brand 1928. This jewelry, I've seen it in, I think, Dillard's or Macy's before. It's not that expensive of a brand. I don't know why it sells well, but it seems to do fine on eBay. I got $23 free shipping on this one. This is called Liquid Silver, and these little beads, let me see if I can zoom in here. The silver beads are little tubular um, 925 silver strands. This is a very um, desirable thing in the native world. So this was only five strands. You really want to find the ones that are like 50 strands, even 25 strands. 100 strands is big money, so look out for these. And let's see, there. if you could see there, the rising sun little stamp on there that is a desirable brand so look out for those especially if they have you know a lot of strands to them it's always a good item this one I got $29.99 free shipping this is just a basic Romeo and Juliet couture top that I got super cheap at Nordstrom Rack and it took forever to sell I don't normally pick up that brand but it was so cheap I did I only got $20 plus shipping on it so I would not pick it up again lesson learned had it for a very long time. Okay, Joyce Meyer CD set. I got this at a yard sale at some point and probably paid a buck for it. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it's not something I would probably pick up again. I don't know. Lesson learned. I, I'm still learning lessons, guys. I got $13.99 plus shipping. This was a lot of Asian style jewelry. I didn't get much for it. I just wanted it gone. It was kind of stressing me out having so many loads of jewelry sitting at my table that I just threw it all on there and put a cheap price and wanted it out of here. It sold very fast. It kind of looks like there'd be jade pieces in there. They're not. I don't know. And there was damage on each piece. Very little damage. Still wearable. But I just wanted it out of my mind. So I let it go for twenty ninety nine plus shipping. RJC Hawaiian shirt for men. I had this for a long time too and I'm not sure why. It was a 3XL. I don't know. It was a great shirt so it just it was one of those things that it took a long time to sell. This one, I, I always put Aloha in the title for Hawaiian shirts and I put Friday because that's what they call it in Hawaii is a Friday shirt. I don't know if that helps or not, that's just what I do. And being this size, I really thought I could get a lot more than this, but I needed it to go and I needed sales, so that's what I did. This sold on a 30% off sale for $24.50 plus shipping. This vintage bracelet is called Sausalito Craftworks. Um, that brand has some desirable pieces. This is not 
one of the more desirable pieces, but it did sell. Brass sells for me of all varieties. I don't know what it is, but it's a must be a trending thing right now. I got $13.99 for this basic cuff bracelet, and it was signed somewhere in here. There's the signature for Sausalito Crafts Work with the anchor. Other pieces can go for bigger money than that, though, so keep your eye out for it. I sold another McKee Bottoms Up shot glass. This price isn't showing correctly, but I don't know what to say about that. I think it's because I have this as a multiple listing that's just not pulling up right. I think I got 50 something for this, honestly. And I did charge shipping. So I had one of these in my last videos too. So if you watched that, you're already familiar with this 1930s shot glass. I have two more for sale. This was a vintage conflict war board game and it was really cool. It had metal pieces. Let's see if we can zoom in there. You can see above my head there, These, all the pieces were metal. There was wear to it, but it wasn't bad. All the pieces were there and the instructions. And the box was a little beat up as they usually are when they're vintage, but somebody wanted it and they paid me $28 plus shipping on that. So Pata, I, it always sells. Um, this one was a little less than usual for my Silpata pieces, but it was pretty small necklace and um, pretty basic. So I got rid of it for $24.49, free shipping. This CD, or it's a two CD set of Brahms piano, I got $22.42 plus shipping and there's really not much to say about it. It just sells well. I did the comps on that one and I knew it would sell fairly quick and it did. This cuff bracelet was Moonstone and Onyx with 925 silver. I got 5191 and I had it forever but I was being a little greedy. I wanted my money out of it so I held on to it but it finally sold so I got shipping on top of that too. Gianmarco Lorenzi Gladiator Hills. I've had these forever, guys. My pictures are horrible. I swear this was like at the very beginning. I should have re-photographed these without the weird tissue paper in there. I, But they were so hard to photograph the first time. I just never wanted to go back and do it. These shoes should have gone for a lot more, in my opinion. Um, this is a good designer. But they didn't, so I sold them for $66.07 plus shipping. I'm glad they're gone. I'm tired of holding on to things, guys. Get your stuff moving if you can. Okay, uh, my BMW was totaled um, in March, I think. When I went up to get my things out of it from the yard that they towed it to, I grabbed the manual. I grabbed everything I could that I could sell, possibly. And this did sell for thirty-seven seventeen. It went overseas. I can't remember where it went, but it was an international sell. So I always look out for manuals and things like that. And if you wreck your car, grab your stuff and sell it. I mean, I sold the floor mats. I sold um, something else. I can't remember. I just grabbed whatever would come off of there. <laughs> I should have probably done more of that, actually. Okay, this Saunders Cervical Home Traction Machine. It's an older model. They have newer models of this, so I... I wasn't sure how I was going to do on it. I knew it would sell. I just didn't know how much. I did take... Uh, I had it marked fairly high actually, but I put it on sale and it sold for $144.55 plus shipping and it sold pretty fast within probably two weeks, maybe three tops. So look out for these pieces. It did come with a carrying case like that and it was in good shape. Okay, more jewelry jar finds. These were sterling silver puffy heart and bow earrings. There's not a lot to say about them. They're hollow in the middle and somebody paid eleven fifty six free shipping. So not a huge profit there, but they moved. Sometimes that's the name of the game. I wouldn't buy this brand. I think it was, I don't know where I got it actually. <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is I got sixteen fifty one and I had it forever. But when you're newer into reselling, you have bad buys, you have all kinds of situations and I'm tired of seeing those things in my inventory so they're gonna get out of here one way or another I just want the money so I can make better purchases hopefully 
you know, you just want to learn from your mistakes. Okay, this really went cheap. <laughs> it should have gone more. I don't know. I was I was not having sales the day I listed this, and I was like, I'm listing everything super cheap and see what I can move. So I did. It's a lot of cameos. They were all vintage, but none of them were incredibly, you know, desirable. Maybe the yellow one, I couldn't find any research on it, so I just threw it in there. It was bugging me to have all the jewelry laying around. So I got 2313. And I really never lose money on the jewelry jars. I haven't yet, anyway, if you look at it as a whole. So, you know, depending on how patient you are, because jewelry sometimes is a long tail item. I don't know. It's, it's fine with me, though. I'm really, I'm okay with this. It doesn't hurt my finances. 2313, I think this was free shipping. I'm covering that there, so I don't know. Here we go. Oh, no, I charged shipping on that one. An anthropology top. It was so lightweight, so you know it was an easy, easy thing for me to pick up. It was, I don't know where I got it actually, but I got twenty sixty five plus shipping, and I'm good with that. Plunder. I'd never heard this brand before, but I went to a yard sale and they had a ton of it. I picked out some of the pieces I thought were better statement pieces to resell. They wanted a dollar each, so. It wasn't, you know, a difficult decision, really. This one sold very fast. Um, anything with a time piece look to it or theme tends to do okay. It was really cute, and it was new. So I got twenty-two thirty, and that was free shipping. And I don't know, it, I wouldn't really pick up this brand necessarily unless it was a piece like this. I have other pieces that aren't moving right now. But for a dollar, you know, they'll sell eventually. It'll be fine for me. The Trail of Painted Ponies. I've sold several of these before. I bought them all together at a yard sale. This was the last one I had, and it was the least valuable one. I sold the others for the range of maybe $45 to $55. They were much cooler than this. But finally, this guy sold for $37.17. Let me see if I can find what it looks like underneath here so you can be on the lookout for these Oops. there we go the trail of painted ponies and they're numbered and this one was the children's prayer pony they actually took art from children in the hospital and put it on this pony so there's different themes to these a lot of them sell well so I do look out for these definitely and the last item, another Cincy. I sell one a week right now, it seems. So um, I pick them up all the time. This was the mid size, not the larger one. It didn't go for as much. It was new in the box. There were a ton of these listed, and I didn't do comps at the yard sale I got this at. So I just let it go for $15.69. I still made a profit. I probably paid a dollar or two. I'm not sure. It's been a while. It sat there because there were so many of these listed. So I threw it on a a heavy sale and got it out of here. So that's all I have to show you today. I'll show you more later in the week, hopefully. And I just thank you for watching. I hope you could learn something. If not, learn what not to buy if you can't learn what to buy from me. So leave a comment if you'd like and hit the like button and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please. Have a great day, guys. Bye.